Oh, so you believe you've got a teacher bestie, AKA a teacher BFF. Okay, well, let's put that to the test by seeing how you answer these questions from the official teacher bestie exam. It's the holidays, you're not abroad. How long is an acceptable amount of time without seeing your teacher bestie? Two days? Okay, good. Anything more than three would be a worry. And if you are on holiday, text in every day. Correct, well done. Okay, next, do you have a side WhatsApp group that runs along the main staff WhatsApp group? Yeah. Is it voice notes to rant? Yeah, to vent and sometimes do impressions of people? Super, well done. And can I just check, do you know their Starbucks order? Yeah, their Greg's lunch order? Good, Mackey's? Yeah, and Chippy order? Good, I'm gonna need you to share with me and show me the eyes you give your teacher bestie during a staff meeting. Yeah, that's it, it's all in the eyebrows, well done. Well, have you confessed to them when you did indeed break the photocopier? Okay, and if you were to tell someone all the secrets about your teacher bestie, would they be sacked? Good. Right, okay, you get told some gossip and are sworn to secrecy, not to tell a soul. What's the first thing you do? You go and tell your teacher bestie, well done. You spent all night texting each other. The first thing you do when you get into school the following morning is it A, sort out your resources for the day, or B, go to your bestie's classroom and gossip. B, correct. Have you shared the following with your teacher bestie? A, stapler? Good. Uh, laminator? Yeah. The guillotine? Whiteboard pens? Yeah. And glue sticks? Really? When you've had one of those days in the classroom, what is it that can sort it out? A good vent to your teacher bestie in their classroom, followed by a good cry, finished with a hug. That's the one. How many staff parties have you attended separately? None. Zilch. Good. Near the end now, so worst day of the school year is when your teacher bestie is either off ill or on a course. And last but by no means least, have you and your teacher bestie bought tickets for the next two Mr. P's in a podcast live tour? You have? Super. Well done. Well, that concludes it. And I can officially say you do have a teacher bestie. Let me tell you, you've passed with flying colours. Congratulations. You do indeed have a teacher bestie. Look after them, take care of them, because it's the one thing you need when you become a teacher. Okay, yep, yeah, and we'll see you at the live show.